Hi, I'm Dr. Joni Liu, and today I'm back with another cosmic tidbit. So I'm on to a new topic, and it really comes down to how does the collective ego control us? So it controls us through our families, through our traditions, our culture. And you have to realize, because you know I've grown up between cultures, that a lot of things are actually the same between cultures. And one of them, which is very important about how the collective ego actually controls us, is that it tells us, or we are told from the time that we were very little, that we are special. And at the same time, we can't handle life. <laughs> so what does that do to our confidence? It really sets us apart from our self-confidence. So most of us suffer from a lack of self-confidence. Now, it really comes down to when we're told about these two contradictions, it creates conflict in us immediately. And we begin doubting ourselves. But, you know, no child is actually born with a lack of self-confidence. Self-confidence is actually very natural and normal. But when you're told over and over again but that you're special, but you can't handle life <laughs> or that you're alone and that you can't handle life, then that really causes a lifelong problem. So that's one of the most important factors in how the collective ego controls us. Okay, I'll be back with another cosmic tidbit, but this one's just part one of how does the collective ego control us? Bye.